How do you know if you're doing a good job, if you've achieved your goals as a fine hymn player? One of the easiest ways to know is to tape record your service because a tape recording is an oral mirror of all rhythmic and registration wrinkles that you might want to iron out. If the people are singing successfully, if you have started and ended a hymn at the same tempo, then you have met some of the most important criteria in being a fine hymn player. As you're practicing each week, keep a notebook and a music staff book close by. Keep notes about your insights into the text and write down any melodic motives that you might use to make interesting hymn introductions or hymn interludes. Sometimes when we have our most creative practice times, the ideas come very quickly, but they can evaporate just as quickly. Make your own practice tape and then sometime later, away from the church and away from the organ, see if it's easy to sing to your accompaniment. It is very difficult for us as organists to get away from our own situation, but one of the richest experiences is being able to visit other churches and participate in other ways of worship. It is a very good idea to find out how other traditions treat their hymns and the degree of hymn singing in various congregations. You can learn something from every situation. One of the secrets in good music making is to constantly use our ears. That's why it's an advantage to visit other worship services. And it's very valuable to borrow the ears of valued colleagues. Have them come and listen to you play and critique your playing and then ask them to play for you so that you can be aware of how your registrations, your instrument, and your worship space all blend together. Charles Marie Vidor said that in order to be a musician, one should have a vision of eternity. I feel that um, hymnody, and especially congregational singing, is the backbone of church music. So hymns encompass much of what we do in worship, and it's a, an enriching, nurturing way to express what we believe. And so we need to sing. And so even as an organist and as a choir director, I encourage organists to be sensitive to the need of, and importance of our congregation to sing our faith. And we help them do that by the way we play. I think hymns are probably the most engaging aspect of liturgy. The opportunity for a congregation to be molded into a community of song is, as I th 
put it, a sacramental experience. Part of what happens in singing is that we recreate the experience of the incarnation. A word on a page becomes flesh as we sing it. And that happens in no other way. And the opportunity to engage in, in that really significant experience of giving life, it's a, a profoundly theological concept that we are adding breath just as God did in creation and making words on the page come alive. It's, it's a great thing to be a part of that. I think that um, the people um, whose work I have greatest respect for, no matter how they lead music, whether it's with a voice or with an instrument, the people who strike me as doing it most successfully are the ones who can do something initially to lead in such a manner that uh, there is something inevitable about what the congregation will do when, they, when it's their time to start singing. Once that started, I think the role shifts uh, rather profoundly to becoming, instead of the leader, the accompanist. Virtuosos obviously have the capacity to do a lot more than those of us who are not virtuosos. But all of us who work at it as a craft can lead congregational singing well. People love to sing hymns, and you as an organist have a bigger responsibility in improving the hymn singing in your congregation than anyone else. Through your careful guidance and leadership, you can set a mood, provide energy and vitality, and the security of rhythmic stability. You need to be a firm yet sensitive conductor. And you need to realize that we all bring many different experiences and diversity to worship. And it is your awesome privilege as an organist to unite that diversity into oneness and wholeness through your exciting and capable hymn playing. <laughs>